Hello everyone, welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. Today we are going to improve the security of our Raspberry Pi 5 by disabling the default Raspberry Pi 5 user and creating a new user with the same permissions. This will help protect your system from unauthorized access. Let's get started. Now, the default Raspberry Pi 5 user is a well-known and can be a security risk by creating a custom user and disabling this uh, default Raspberry Pi 5 user, we add an extra layer of security to our Raspberry Pi. Now first, let's list all of the users on our system. For that, we're going to type cut dash T and F1 etc. Now in my previous video, I uh, explain what are all these accounts so if you don't know if you really want to know what are these accounts please go check my uh, previous videos i explain what is these accounts mean now looking at these accounts these all up to here all are system accounts now in here this is the one default raspberry pi user account if you have few more you will i can identify now you can see in here, I'm logging as a default my user account. Also, I'm seeing in here is my default user account. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check which groups the uh, PI5 belongs to. I'm going to type groups G R O G R O U P S. I'm going to type the user account, which is default account. I'm going to hit enter as you can see pi5 is a member of several groups we'll need this information to give our new user the same permission so if you want to you know write it down or put it on notepad that should be helpful so i'm going to copy this and i'm i'm going to put it on notepad so i um, when i'm going to create a new user i'm going to add all these groups now let's create a new user uh, i'm going to replace a new user account with my user that's that's why i'm going to create a new user name uh, you can change the name as you desire so for this example i'm going to use my user so sudo add user and this is my new username my user now uh, the system prompts for password and user information so you can follow the prompts to set a strong password and fill any additional information you like I'm going to enter the password retype the password uh, full name uh, IT my teacher room number I'm going to say 007 uh, work phone, I'm going to see 123456789 Home phone, I'm going to keep playing. Other is this information correct? I'm going to say yes. You can see I created a new user account. This is a blank user account now. Okay, next. Now we'll add a user. Uh, now we're going to add my user to the same group as PI5. To all this group you can see now I'm going to uh, I already co type uh, copy all this one and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to explain you uh, all this right so this command adds my user to all the necessary groups let's break it down now you can see sudo in here runs the command with administrative privileges and after that you can say user mod modifies a user account and dash ag appends appends the user to the supplementary groups you can see uh, this is the group list a comma separated list of groups without spaces you can see i grab from the here from pi5 and i added everything in here and at the end you can see my user this is my user account username we are modifying and i'm going to hit enter okay let's go and 
verify the new user groups i'm going to say groups my user okay you can see in here i have the uh, same uh, groups as you can see in here i type groups bi5 i have the same groups under my use account perfect now let's see that if you have a account you have a your old account raspberry pi 5 and now you create a new account my user now if you have important files in the uh, the old account pi 5 right and you want to transfer them to the new account my user right so how are you going to do it now i'm going to show you what i'm going to do is i'm going to do sudo cp hr home pi5 and i'm going to uh, use this home my user so you can see in here now uh, if i say sudo uh, runs the command as the super user root giving the necessary permissions after that you can see cp the command for copying files and directories you can see dash r uh, this option means uh, recursive allowing allowing the command to copy directories and their contents slash home pi5 uh, so stomach this specify all files and folders inside home pi5 that's the user account we're going to copy right using the wildcard you can see in the wildcard meaning everything inside that directory and we can see slash home my user then the new user account this is the destination directory where the files from home pi5 will be copied to new user account okay looks good now i'm going to hit enter good now next let's type uh, i'm going to type sudo chw uh, chownr i will explain in a bit my user and i'm going to type my user home my user now let's uh, get to know what we're going to type here now sudo again this is the runs command with a user super user privileges chon chown this command used to change the ownership of files or directories dash r this means recursive applying the ownership change to all files and subdirectories directories within the specific directory now you can see my user my user that's why i have a new account this specify the new owner my user and the new group my user for the files right and slash home slash my user the last one so this is the uh, home this is the directory where the ownership will be changed in summary this command change the ownership of all files and directories inside uh, home my user so that they that they belong to the user my user and the group my user if you follow the thread you will understand so these commands copy these two commands these two commands i'm going to enter now right so these two commands copy all files and directories from pi5 that's the old user account to my user to the new user and change ownership to my user so you can see it's changed the ownership and everything that's how you are transferring files from your uh, previous your old uh, user account to the new user account this is optional but that's how you do it okay our last thing we need to do here is we need to disable the default raspberry pi user so after ensure everything works with my user we can disable pi5 user right so we're going to type sudo pass 
um, you know what? Before we disable, it's the best practice we log into the new user account and see if it works, right? So I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a log out. Okay. Now I'm going to SSH again. This time uh, I'm going to use my user. Okay, I do get the password from. Okay, so you can see are you able to uh, log in as the new user account? Now um, test the new setup. So we log out, log back in with my user to make sure everything is functioning properly. We need to test some ad administrative privilege with a simple command is sudo apt update. Okay, so we ask him for the password. That's fine. This is how we need to do, you know. Uh, so seems like it works so next what I'm going to do here is uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to disable the old uh, account the Raspberry Pi 5 user, user account so I'm going to type sudo psswt so so now I'm going to do is that so after uh, everything ensure everything works with my user account the new user account we can disable the pi5 user okay so i'm going to say a uh, lock pi5 this is uh, my old account so pa password change okay so it's also change the password i'm going to type sudo user mod s user s bin no login pi5 let me explain you in a bit okay now i'm going to type enter so let me explain you the command Lo sudo runs the command with uh, super privileges root privileges you can see the uh, uh okay sorry uh sudo privileges pass wwd uh, dash log pi5 right so in here pass uh, wd the command used to change the user password at account status so that's why i say password change so we change it right and after that we can see in this one lock this option locks the specified user user account Spe especially it disables the ability to log in using the password for the user account so without actually deleting the password it modifies the user password entry in the etc dash shadow file by adding an ex exclamation mark in front of the encrypted password right so the output message you can see in here password password change means the account of the user pi5 is now locked preventing password based login right so um next uh, you can see i enter sudo this command so what this does is again uh, the sudo is again run the command with super privileges and user mod a command used to modify the user account settings dash s and user a spin no login this option changed the user's login shell to uh, users uh, user sb no logging and uh, the no logging command you can see then this no logging the shell prevents the user from logging to the system if the user attempt to log in the system will simply display a message like this account is currently not available and prevent access and last pi file the username of the account being modified so in summary this command changed the shell of the user's pi5 to no logging which effectively disabled the ability to login or run inactive shell commands so we done with that and we uh, we use this command to lock the pi's password and prevent any logging attempts right 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a logout and I'm trying to log in as that PI5 user. You can see the PI5 SSH. What I'm going to do here is, okay, it's asking me, I'm going to enter that password for that account. You can see I just entered the password, permissions denied. Please try again. So that's mean we cannot log in with my old account. So I have to use my new account that my user account again I'm going to enter so I'm able to login as my new account and that's it you have en enhanced your Raspberry Pi 5 security by disabling the default Pi 5 user and setting up a new user with the same permissions Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more Raspberry Pi projects and tips. See you in the next video.